31, welcome to example three. We're gonna take a look at inverse variation. So we're gonna let n be a positive real number. And then we will start using this phrase, y varies inversely as the nth power of x, or y is inversely proportional to the nth power of x. If for all x there exists a non-real zero, excuse me, a non-zero real number k, such that y equals k over x to the n. And I, I want you to take note here that we have division over here on the right side of the equation. And that's in contrast to when we have direct variation where we would have y time, excuse me, k times x to the n. Now, if you just have your basic um, inverse, inversely uh, proportional problem, right, with n being one, this just turns into y equals k divided by x, or y varies inversely as x. All right, so with that, we're gonna take a look at example three and we're gonna move forward with those four steps that were outlined in the previous problem. And if you don't remember the four steps, here they were. So I'm gonna go through these four steps as we figure out this problem. So it says a quantity y varies inversely with the square of x if y is equal to a, excuse me, if y is equal to eight when x is equal to three, find y when x is four. All right, so with all of that, let's, let's take a look. The first thing I would wanna do was set up my general equation for this variation problem. And I see y is varying inversely. When I see inversely, I know I'm gonna do k divided by a number. And again, that's in contrast to had this said varies directly, I would have had k times a number, or not so much a number, but an expression. Let's see what that expression is. It says the square of x here. So I'm literally gonna write x squared, okay? Step two would have been to substitute given values of the variables to find this k. Well, I have a complete ordered pair here. I see it's three comma eight. I have an incomplete ordered pair here. I've got four something, right? Because it says find y when x is four. Well, I know x is four, but I don't know the corresponding y value. So always use the complete ordered pair and plug in. And be careful, I can't tell you how many times students forget to square this three. You plug in the three, you call it a day, but then that's not really the, the answer to the question. So I'm gonna scooch this up so we have some room. All right, so let's take a look. Here we go, I'm gonna have y, which would be eight, is equal to k over three squared. So I'm substituting in that complete ordered pair and when we go ahead and we solve this, I'm gonna get k is equal to eight times nine, because I'm gonna multiply the nine over. So k is going to be equal to 72. Great. Once you find your k, plug that into whatever equation you found in step one. So here I will say y is equal to 72 over x squared. Great. And last but not least, once you have your, your particular variation equation, your particular model, substitute the remaining values and solve for the required unknown. So if we look at step four, it basically is now asking, well, plug in x being four. And I really wanna stress when you plug in four, make sure you square it. Don't forget to square it. I think we get very, very used to just having k over x, not so much k over x squared, and we forget to square that number. So for step four, I'm gonna say y is equal to 72 over four squared. All right, that would be 72 over 16. I'm gonna just cut to my calculator here and let's take a look at what 17, not 17, excuse me, 72 divided by 16 gets me. It looks like it gets me 4.5, great. So that, is the answer to my question. So I'm gonna say here, I found my answer. It is y is equal to 4.5. All right, oops, excuse me. All right, so with that, we're gonna, now that we've got joint, excuse me, now that we've got direct variation and inverse variation under our belt, we're gonna bump up to joint variation. And that's gonna be where we start combining a couple of directs, maybe a couple of inverses, maybe an inverse and a direct. It just really depends on the wording of the problem. Okay, I'll see you in a bit, bye.